Welcome to Bethel Farms and Herbs. Today, we will be talking about a bumper tomato harvest. For a truly bumper tomato harvest, each growing stage, from selecting the right variety to harvesting, requires careful attention. Here's an in-depth guide with detailed expert tips to help you increase your tomato yields significantly. 1. Select high-yielding and disease-resistant varieties tip. Not all tomato varieties are created equal. Choosing the right ones is crucial for maximizing yield. Details. Indeterminate versus. Determinate. Indeterminate varieties. For example, Brandywine, Big Boy, continue to grow and produce fruit throughout the season, often yielding more overall. Determinate varieties, for example, Roma, Celebrity, grow to a certain size and set fruit all at once, which is ideal for canning or smaller gardens. Climate adaptation. Consider your local climate. For cooler climates, early maturing varieties like Early Girl are ideal. In hotter climates, heat-tolerant varieties like Heat Master will perform better. Disease resistance. Opt for varieties labeled with resistance to common diseases like Verticillium wilt, V, Fusarium wilt, F, and Nematodes, N. Varieties such as Mountain Magic or Iron Lady offer good disease resistance. 2. Prepare and optimize soil health. Tip. Healthy soil is the foundation for a productive tomato crop. Details. Soil testing. Before planting, conduct a soil test to determine pH and nutrient levels. Tomatoes prefer slightly acidic soil with a pH of 6.0, 6.8. Based on the test, amend the soil to correct deficiencies. For example, add lime to raise pH or sulfur to lower it. Organic matter. Incorporate two, three inches of organic compost or well-aged manure into the soil to improve texture, fertility, and water retention. This organic matter will also encourage beneficial microbial activity in the soil. Drainage. Tomatoes dislike wet feet. Ensure good drainage by planting in raised beds or improving soil structure with sand or perlite if necessary. 3. Planting techniques. Timing and depth. Tip. Proper planting. Depth and timing can give your tomatoes a strong start, leading to higher yields. Details. Timing. Plant tomatoes when the danger of frost has passed and the soil temperature is consistently above 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius. This usually occurs in late spring. Use row covers or cloches to protect young plants from unexpected cold snaps. Planting. Depth. When transplanting seedlings, bury them deep, right up to the first set of leaves. This encourages the stem to develop additional roots, which improves the plant's stability and ability to absorb nutrients and water. Spacing. Space plants at least 18, 24 inches apart to ensure adequate airflow and room for growth. Crowded plants are more susceptible to disease. Four, prune and train plants for maximum production. Tip, pruning and training not only help control plant size, but also increase fruit quality and yield. Details. Pruning suckers. Remove suckers. The small shoots that grow between the main stem and branches, especially for indeterminate varieties. While some gardeners prefer to leave a few suckers, removing most helps the plant focus on producing larger fruits rather than more foliage. Lower leaves. As the plant grows, remove the lower leaves that are close to the ground. These are more prone to soil-borne diseases like blight. Support systems. Use sturdy stakes, cages, or trellises to keep plants off the ground. This reduces the risk of rot, improves air circulation, and makes harvesting easier. For heavy producing varieties, consider a Florida weave or a cattle panel trellis for robust support. Five. Watering techniques for consistent moisture. Tip. Consistent and deep watering is key to preventing common tomato issues like blossom end rot and cracking. Details. Watering frequency. Water tomatoes. Deeply two, three times a week. 
depending on weather conditions. Aim for the soil to be evenly moist, but not waterlogged. During hot, dry spells, daily watering may be necessary. Morning watering. Water in the early morning to allow foliage to dry out during the day, reducing the risk of fungal diseases. Mulching. Apply a 2-3 inch layer of organic mulch, such as straw or shredded leaves, around the base of the plants. Mulching conserves moisture, suppresses weeds, and maintains a more consistent soil temperature. 6. Fertilization Strategy Balanced and Timely Feeding Tip Proper fertilization supports healthy growth and fruit development throughout the season. Details Starter Fertilization At planting time, mix a balanced fertilizer or an organic slow-release fertilizer into the soil. Look for a formula that emphasizes phosphorus, P, like 5105, to encourage strong root and flower development. Side dressing. Once the first fruits are set, side dress with a balanced fertilizer or a specialized tomato fertilizer every three, four weeks. Avoid high nitrogen fertilizers at this stage as they can promote leafy growth at the expense of fruit production. Foliar feeding. In addition to soil fertilization, consider using a foliar spray of seaweed extract or fish emulsion to provide micronutrients and boost plant health. 7. Pest and Disease Management Tip. Proactively manage pests and diseases to protect your plants and maximize yields. Details. Regular inspection. Check plants regularly for signs of pests like aphids, whiteflies, or tomato hornworms. Remove pests by hand or use organic insecticides like neem oil or insecticidal soap. Disease Prevention Rotate crops annually to prevent soil-borne diseases. Avoid planting tomatoes in the same spot where nightshades, like peppers or potatoes, were grown the previous year. Use disease-resistant varieties and consider applying a fungicide if blight is a concern in your area. Companion planting. Plant basil, marigolds, or garlic near your tomatoes to deter pests naturally. These companions also attract beneficial insects that prey on common tomato pests. Bonus tips for boosting. Tomato yields, mulching, and soil temperature. In addition to moisture retention, mulch helps regulate soil temperature, which is crucial for root development and fruit set, especially in regions with extreme temperatures. Encourage pollination. Tomatoes are self-pollinating, but they benefit from external help. Gently shake the plants during flowering or place them in a location where they'll attract pollinators like bees. In enclosed spaces like greenhouses, use a fan to mimic wind and help with pollination. Regular harvesting. Harvest tomatoes as soon as they ripen to encourage the plant to set more fruit. Leaving ripe tomatoes on the vine can slow down production. By integrating these detailed expert strategies into your tomato gardening routine, you'll significantly increase your chances of a bountiful, healthy harvest. Please don't forget to click on the notification bell. When we upload a new video, you will be notified. Please like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.